Opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light-squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. e5 is a common response that establishes a presence in the center, controls d4, and opens up the queen and dark-squared bishop. d3 is a timid move that protects the e4 pawn and allows the dark-squared bishop to develop, but traps the light-squared bishop behind the pawn chain. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. This move is okay, but not what I would have played. The bishop develops or moves for the first time. You activate your knight by moving it from the starting square. Out comes the knight and into the battle. You develop a bishop, which means you move it from its starting position. Castling kingside tends to be safer than queenside because the king is further from the center. You've secured your king on the same side as your opponent, a solid strategy. A solid choice. It's important to get your pieces off their starting squares and into the action. The knight moves from its initial position, joining the action. You had a better option, but this is not bad. That's fine. You overlooked an opportunity to develop a queen off its starting square. You permitted the opponent to force a weak isolated pawn. This misses an opportunity to force a weak isolated pawn. It's critical to develop your pieces as early as possible in the game. A very strong play. Well done, an excellent move. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. Connecting your rooks is a great way to help them work together. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. This move attacks your opponent's pawn chain. After all captures, this is an equal trade. You should have spent more time in that position. This strikes at the center to fight for space. You kick the opposing knight with a pawn, forcing it away. This permits the opponent to eventually win a pawn. This wins a pawn. Takes back. You missed an opportunity to tactically win a pawn. This misses an opportunity to defend a pawn that was under attack. This is the way to win a pawn. This ignores an opportunity to take an outpost with a bishop. You captured back. This mobilizes the knight. You are threatening to play checkmate. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. You gain time because your opponent must deal with your threat. This move puts the rook on a safer square. Very good choice. This wins time by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. You've just allowed your pawn to be taken without a fight. That pawn was free for the taking. You escape the check from the queen. This is the strongest option. Nice, you found a way to win a knight. This move puts the queen on a safer square. You captured a f This wins time by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. You are threatening to win material by trapping a piece. This prevents the opponent from being able to win material by trapping a piece. You take back. This threatens to tactically win a pawn. Yes, this is the way. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. You are threatening to tactically win a pawn. This stops the opponent from being able to tactically win a pawn. You had a chance to play something better. Advancing the pawns in front of the king can compromise the king's safety. Your rook takes an open file, a good way to activate the rook. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. There was only one good move and you found it. You found a great place for the rook. This defends a rook that was under attack and had no defenders. You missed an opportunity to double rooks on a single file. You allowed the opponent to set up a blockade. Takes back. This move doesn't hurt you much, but it doesn't help either. That was a free pawn. This is a fine move. 
This activates the king in the endgame by getting it off of the back rank. Your rook eyes the open file, which helps control critical squares. This is a fair move. Not the best move, but not bad either. One of the best moves. You permitted the opponent to eventually win a pawn. This misses an opportunity to eventually win a pawn. This move is okay, but not what I would have played. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. Well done, an excellent move. This offers an equal trade of pieces. You exchange pieces of equal value. Recaptures. Good job stepping in to defend your pawn. That's fine. You dodge the check, moving your king out of harm's way. Very precise. You step your king away from the checking queen. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. This isn't a mistake, but there was something better for you. This is a fair move. You had a better option, but this is not bad. This misses an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. You trade off equal material. Takes back. Good job, that's what I would have played too. This allows the opponent to force eventual checkmate. You ignored an opportunity to force eventual checkmate. This blocks the check from an opposing queen. Very good choice. A solid choice. Not the best move, but not bad either. That's fine. Nice, definitely the right move. This steps away from the checking queen. Yes, this is the way. This steps away from the checking queen. Good job, that's what I would have played too. This permits the opponent to force eventual checkmate. Great focus. You held on to the forced mate even with the clock ticking down. This steps away from the checking queen. Congrats on your win.